Hello, I'm Steve Overgaard with Signature Craft LLC. Today we're going to 1514 Wentbridge in Richmond. There's some structural concerns on the inside of the house. We're going to check those out. The first thing you'll see are some still photos of the rooms where there is concern. All right, so what we're doing here is we've got a laser and we are measuring, precisely measuring the uh, distance between the floor and the laser. So, so far we've got 30 and a half. Measuring all the way around. It's 30. 30, so it's a half an inch. 30. Okay. That tape was a little little crooked when he got there. 30 and three quarters. Okay, so. Um, 30 and seven eighths. So it's almost an inch. Let me shut this door. All right. Okay. Going over by the window now. Thirty. Oh, okay. All right. Not straight. There we go. Okay, so we're doing the same thing, and this is the uh, room, the bedroom beside the kitchen. Should start to go up there. What? Dang. Twenty-nine and a half. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. Twenty-nine and a half. Thirty and three quarters. 
30 and three quarters. And also when you walk in that area, the, the laser bounces. So that tells me that the floor joists in this area are weak and probably need to be sistered. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the dining room. All right, whenever you're ready. Thirty and seven eighths. Thirty and three quarters. Thirty one and a quarter. Thirty one and an eighth. Thirty and a half. 30 and a half, 30, 29 and 5 eighths. Wow. 30. Thirty and an eighth. Thirty and seven eighths. Wow. Check right here in the doorway where that um, water damage is. Right there. Thirty one and three eighths. Right there in the middle of where the uh, water damage is. Yep. No. Yeah. What you got? 32, uh. 31 and a half, 31 and 5 eighths, 31 and an eighth, 31 and an eighth, 30 and three quarters, 30 and three quarters, 30 and three quarters, 39 and an eighth, 39 and a half, 
All right, we're in the living room. 30 and 3 eighths. 30 and 3 eighths. 30 and 8. 30. 30. 30 and a quarter. 30 and 3 eighths. That's going downhill a little bit right here. 30 and a half. 30 and a quarter. 30. A little dip at the front door. Not unexpected. Whoops. Oh, you're in the shadow. This thing is in the shadow. Just gonna need to come over a little bit for Yeah, yeah. The laser shadow. 30 and a quarter. Yeah, that's 30 and three quarters. 30 and three quarters. 30 and seven eighths. 30 and seven eighths. Yeah, you're in the laser in the laser shadow. 30 and seven eighths. 30 and seven eighths. 30 and seven eighths. 30 and three quarters. 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 Okay, so we opened up um, a roughly five by five inch hole here underneath the window in the green bedroom beside the kitchen. And uh, you can see in here that's the the brick structure, and then these are uh, wooden strips that they use to hang the, uh, the plaster and everything on. And this really doesn't feel that bad. Um, we're not concerned about the wood structure right here. Just looks like it was water that had come through, come through the wall and stained the wallpaper. So we don't see anything of concern here. Okay, so this is the, um, the door frame uh, on the uh, back right bedroom. And it, you can see that the termites are even up right there. They've gone at least that far. Okay, so this is the door uh, frame over the rear right bedroom. And you can see that um, termites are, you know, eating this up pretty badly. Um, we wanted to know if it had gotten into the framing of the house. So we cut a little exploratory hole here. And so um, this is the, and the cripple. Cripple. Okay, and then this is the plaster wall behind all of this that is in the bedroom. Wait, yes, but <clears throat> this brown stuff that you see right here, that's what the uh, termites uh, make their little tunnels in. So that is uh, actually dirt that the termites bring up. So as far as I can see back there, there's that. Uh, and so it's going up and same thing over here and it's traveling up. So it's at least um, as far as, you know, the ceiling on the first floor. All right, so this is the um, far back right bedroom and we've opened up a, an exploratory hole. It's about, um, probably be about four, four and a half feet tall. This is the main framing member that goes up um, and the termites are definitely in, you know, no question about it, they're in here and they've eaten the core out of that. You can see the termite um, trails right here, um, up in here, just fallen. And then some duct work there. And yeah. So it's all up in there, too. Yeah, that's uh, up on the next stud, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on up and we're going to cut a hole right there. Okay, so this is the, um, the back right bedroom and we cut an exploratory hole here at the ceiling and you can see that um, there are termites up this far and they actually go into the, uh, 
to the top plate right there. Although I'm not worried about the structure of the top plate. Um, and if you look in here, there is some more um, termite um, tubes right there. Um, they might be going up around the, the top plate and uh, continuing on up. Maybe. Oh, no. All right, so we checked. Um, Todd's tall enough. He could look back up in the hole. And uh, he can see some termite tracking on the next stud over, although the actual damage doesn't look as, as bad over there. Uh, it may be, this is a, um, may or may not have anything to do with it. This is a ductwork, and it's, it's very warm in this, in this wall pocket right here from the ductwork. So that may be what termites like. The uh, termite tubes will, will fall down, and we can hear it uh, falling in the wall cavity. So, I was tapping along earlier, and you can see where the stuff falls. And then when I do that here, I can hear the... Sometimes I can hear the stuff falling in the wall cavity. Just down for sure. So... It's not 100% reliable, but it's just another way. Okay, so we're on the second floor now, and um, this is that duct that comes up in the wall, and the termite bad damage was really bad on the, um, on the stud that was right beside that. So that would be right in this area here, and this looks like original framing here, and um, I'm gonna check really good along this plate um, to see if they made it into this area here. And then down about six feet too, it's the same story. Um, we're gonna check all that really carefully, and we're gonna take up a little piece of this plywood right here. All right. Okay, so this is a little exploratory hole. I checked it out very carefully with the High, high strength light and uh, not seeing anything um, of concern in here. So this is another exploratory hole underneath another window, which was looking suspect and it's pretty much the same thing. There's no, um, there's no structural concern inside the wall right there. And <clears throat> this is another exploratory hole that we did in the uh, front right bedroom. Um, same thing here, no structural concerns underneath the window.